Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Bakuri Box 12 here. I just woke up to some incredible news. One might say some of the most incredible news we've had in a very, very long time because it's about something that hasn't happened in a very long time. A few things, actually. So on the official Realm of the Mad God channel, they just posted a video a few hours ago. MomEgg 2021 Antinomy date reveal. But there is so much more in here than just a date reveal. It's actually insane and the video is only a minute long. So we get this shot of what looks to be a shattered nexus because you can see the name-changing knight. At first, I thought this was going to be a part of the shatters itself, kind of like how the parasite chambers is an old guild hall, but I think more likely this is going to be a reskinned nexus during Motmeg. More incredible artwork of the three bosses. Dungeon modifiers. This is a big one. This is something I and a lot of others have wanted to see for a long time. The concept of modifying a dungeon's difficulty, and the easier it is, the less loot you'll get, or the lower your chances for great loot will be. And the harder you make it, the better loot you can get, or the higher a chance for your white bag goes up. As we can see here, this is most likely an easier version because the pirates are super tiny. Dreadstump is even smaller than you. It's actually quite endearing. Then we get flashes for just a brief moment of what looked to be like a chronicle of information of what you're fighting. We can see some new fame bonuses there for lower level accomplishments. And then what looks to be the ability to call out dungeons by clicking on them. Kind of like with bags where we can hover over it to see what loot's inside. We can also do that here in addition to calling it out for the public. So now we don't have to type or even abbreviate dungeons anymore. Enchantments, the ability to further upgrade your equipment from a small drop down list of changes. The examples we see here are long Long shot, increasing the lifetime of a weapon's projectile by 20%. Looks like you can have up to three at one time as well. Reliable, reducing an ability's cooldown by 15%. And armored five, which is probably a high level enchantment, increasing your defense by plus eight. That's a pretty significant increase, but considering dungeon modifiers are also coming in here, I can see why they would be a little more confident in allowing players to grind for such buffs. Bleeding resist reduces the effect of bleeding and sick by 12%, and I believe not that long ago I did just talk about how I'd like there to be a way to reduce the effects of status, so that's pretty great timing. And then at last we have the shatters itself. Looking incredible, it's given the graphical overhaul that current Exalt on Unity is capable of. I'm nothing short of impressed so far, but at the same time, not really surprised. Looks about as good as what I would expect by this point. Forest looks nice. The wavering of the trees is dynamic. Lanterns have lighting. Upgraded enemies look good. This giant knight thing, I can't even tell what that's supposed to be. Is that, a, is that one of the bosses or is that a mini boss? Then we have the main bosses themselves. These look genuinely terrifying. They said that they wanted it to be not as hard as Oryx 3, which that statement already has me clenching, but I don't think they even mentioned Lost Halls, so I'm pretty sure they're aiming for second hardest dungeon in the game. If not, because it is still an attack exaltation, third hardest. The spinning attack of the Sentinel, this is insane. Look at this. You died? Yes. Yes, we will. He materializes a sword pattern on the ground and then throws it at you. It's like the most video game thing you can do. I love it. Looks like people have some new pets, too. The Twilight Archmage, holy... You have to circle that somehow. And the Forgotten King... There's a pattern in there. And then we cap it all off with the August 17th release date, which is just over a month away. Not a long wait in the grand scheme by any means. I'm just freaking out that it's already been a full year since last Motmeg. They also had unique music for this trailer. I'm not sure if it's just Spave working on it still. I'm pretty sure he did end up staying with Decca. That being said, I'm not sure if the Shatters itself will be given music as well, because it would be somewhat anticlimactic to enter this new and improved total nightmare of an endgame dungeon and just hear do 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 But I can always put my own music on, so I won't bite off any more than I already have. Or, you know what, maybe I will, because the end of this trailer gives us what I would consider to be the Rotmeg equivalent to a Thanos will return after credits message teaser. Because we can see here, Tome of Purification and Doombo, untiered items, being traded, UT trading, is coming back, at least in some form. Divinity is sitting there, unchecked. So, maybe it's selective UT trading, like anything that isn't an O3 white, or really high level endgame stuff, but any form at all, I'll take it. This is pretty big. It's been a long time. In fact, UT trading not being around is even older than the Shatters. Most of the player base today probably wasn't even around when you could trade UTs. This is exciting news, and truth be told, a very fine competitor to the second biggest update in Rotmeg history if everything goes according to plan, and who knows what other little things they might sneak in there. With that being said, I know I say this a lot, but I'm excited. I really am. This is a pretty big deal. Leave a comment if you share in the excitement as well. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. 
All right. See ya.